Hello and welcome once again to the Thrifty Collector. Today, very excited, using my GoPro that I bought about six months ago, using it for the first time, I believe it's going to have a much better picture than the camera phone that I was using, so we're going to go from there. Uh, I got a GoPro because I wanted a better picture, but I also, once I got my car restored, want to do a lot of driving videos, a lot of upgrade videos, which I got a video of that coming. But this is a 1988 Sting Wanderama. These cards uh, are not easy to find this particular one. This one is actually considered his rookie card with him up against the ropes. He did have about six cards in that set, but a lot of them were him with Lex Luger or Ric Flair. I believe one's also with Arn Anderson. This is the one that you want, and this is the one that you got to have if you're a Sting fan. I think I paid about $60 to get that signed, which is not cheap, but uh, with the pop culture explosion of wrestling and the wrestling cards from the 80s and 90s, uh, I just had to get it done. So, And as you can tell, I love the centering in my card. Uh, I did buy this one on eBay because I bought a box of Wonderama for about $35. Now, you can't even touch that at today's prices uh this was probably about five years ago when wrestling was almost kind of laughed at by card collectors uh, went to a card shop in pensacola one time and i asked the guy i said do you have any wrestling he says you mean wrestling i said no i didn't ask for wrestling cards i asked for wrestling cards and of course he gave me a look but uh that was kind of the mentality and the mentality of a lot of card shop owners and of course, Card Guy was definitely like that because to him, unless it was something fresh out of a pack, he didn't know much about it anyway. So this is the one to have. I did ask the promoter to either use a like a gold paint pen or Blue Stedler. Sting decided to use a Blue Stedler. I wish he actually signed it about a half inch up so it would have went over more of the yellow pants or down all the way in the bottom by his boots where the mat is. I, I think that is an excellent spot. So uh, at least he didn't sign in the dark above his head. So you got to be happy with what you get sometimes. But if you get yourself a chance, pick up one of these cards, the Sting cards. Uh, he is retiring. I don't think his cards are going to spike that much. But uh, the simple fact that people are going to keep looking for wrestling and card shop owners and card guy are going to start collecting wrestling because that's what everybody's collecting and they literally do not have much imagination beyond that so i hope you enjoyed this video this is uh my sting autograph card wcw can you call them the franchise i would and i uh, hope everybody has a great day and stay thrifty